While the Department of Forestry and Management in Arizona was preparing agencies for the state's wildlife season earlier this week, they were also teaching a younger generation aspiring to pursue a career in wildland firefighting. Kega 9's Kenny Dar speaking with one of those students on why she's pursuing the profession. Here at the Superstition Fire and Medical Regional Training Center, not only do agencies from all across the state come here as they prepare for the state's fire season, but also a future generation of firefighters coming to learn everything there is for a demanding yet fulfilling job. We're learning all about kind of putting our hands on experience to our wildland training. Haley Mattingly is a senior at Sunrise Senior High School. She's one of a group of students learning what it takes to become a wildland firefighter. Uh, I've been wanting to be a firefighter since I was in like eighth grade. If Mattingly sticks to her dreams of one day helping fight wildfires across Arizona, she would be among just 10% of women who enter the profession, according to the National Forest Foundation. So I asked her if that stat ever bothers her. And while she admitted at times it makes her feel small, she also says, But I believe at the end of the day that when it comes to your heart, your mind, and your willingness to learn and get stronger, uh, we could do just as much as all the men can do. Developing a strong mind, just one of the many intangible skill sets instructor and fire captain Kihan Tabak instills in students who take the course. Skills, he says, can be carried over into whatever direction life may take them. This is not for everybody. You may want to choose a different life path, but the leadership, the qualities, the integrity, the stuff you learn here, you can take that, use it in your day-to-day -day life. For Mattingly, who says she plans to get more hands-on experience this summer, she offered encouraging words to other young girls with similar aspirations. Go with your heart. Uh, your dreams could come true. Just do your research and get in it. Reporting from the Superstition Fire and Medical Regional Training Center, Kenny Dar. Kega 9.